thought it was a waste of time being a western talk doctor, but he, he thought it would be good for me to get away that, that cold, dreary winter. I got very, very sick there. And one test they did that no one else did was a stomach emptying test, which showed that uh, my stomach wasn't emptying properly. I was airlifted, actually. Another friend of his had heard about a doctor, a little Italian woman at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, who had written the standard of care for poems and wanted me to see her, stat. So as soon as I got strong enough, we flew out to the Mayo Clinic. Dr. Angela Dispensieri, Dr. D, would save my life. Not only has she written the standard of care for poems, but she had recognized that the treatment for poems would no longer just be radiology, it was a bone marrow transplant. And after one full week of testing, we went into her office that Friday, and matter-of-factly, she said, you have poems, you had it all along. I don't know what was up with these other doctors, but you need a bone marrow transplant. You need it stat, but you're too weak. She sent me back to Philly to get, to build up my pulmonary, to build up my respiratory, to breathe better, to withstand this, and to give me massive doses of chemotherapy to get rid of these horrible antibodies. Went back before my 50th birthday, had the bone marrow transplant, which required me staying at Mayo and living there in Rochester for two months. And people always ask me, did it hurt? It's not painful, but it just wipes you out. It wipes you clean. I had to have all of my vaccinations and everything again. But immediately I started noticing a difference. 